Good morning, family. Reggie Pickies here, prosperingdad.com. Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday. Um, today we're continuing with our You Are Worthy series. And as always, if you're watching me on YouTube, indulge me as people come on here live on Facebook and I acknowledge them. Type in the comments and let me know where you're viewing me from. Drop a one in the comments or drop live if you're watching me live or drop replay in the comments so I know whether you're watching me live or you're watching me on the replay. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope that you really got better and better and better each and every day. I hope that you guys um, did something exciting this week, that you grew um, you know, as a person this week, that you really stepped out and, and, and really stretched yourself to connect with yourself and to connect with other people. And, you know, it's always awesome when we do that, when we step out, when we stretch ourselves, when we, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we become better and better each and every day. So as you can see today, we're going to talk about what we think, speak, believe, and feel we become. What we think, speak, believe, and feel we become. So, I have a question. Did you know that it's about you? It's really about you. It's about what we, what you think and what you speak and what you believe and what you feel. It's about you because this is what shapes our reality. This is what shapes our outcomes. This is what shapes our existence. Okay, so again, as always, I got three points for you guys today, three tips, and we're going to dive right in, okay? Point number one is, as we talked about before, a lot of people fail to realize that our thoughts are real things. Our thoughts are real things. What we think consciously or subconsciously, plays a major role in our life, in shaping our outcomes. Everything that we have in our lives today, everything that you can see, whether it is where you live, what you drive, what you eat, who you're around, um, your bank account, your relationships, um, all are the... Or all are the results of the way that we think. Moreover, what we think creates energy. It it has a light. It 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 it's a magnet. Think of your brain and your thoughts as as radio waves, or even better, as a magnet. That what you transmit is what you bring back. That's what you attract back to you. So. If you think positivity, then you're going to attract positivity. You're going to attract positive people. You're going to attract positive situations. You're going to attract positive outcomes. But, con you know, vice versa, if you think negatively, you're going to attract those things into your life. So, you you know, we dismiss it, but our thought process is it's the center of everything. Our thought process connects us to infinite infinite intelligence. It could be for you or for me, it could be it could be the God source or it could be the universe. But our thought process is what connects us to the infinite intelligence that's available all around us. Our thought process is what connects us to opportunity. Our thought process is what connects us to abundance. And as I said, Conversely, it also connects us to lack. If that's what our thought process is, if we, if we think that we can't do something well, we won't. If we, if we don't believe that we have the ability to, to do better, we won't. If we don't believe that we deserve uh, better in our lives, we won't have it. So the first thing that we need to understand is that 
thoughts are real things. You got to start really looking at it from that perspective, from that tangible point of view. You got to understand that thoughts are really things, things that are, are, are viable and tangible and have power. So we must be mindful of our thoughts. We must be mindful of the way that we think. Point number two is these things shape who we are. What we think and what we speak and what we believe and how we feel. They shape who we are because what we think translates into what we speak and what we speak translates into what we believe and consequently what we believe trans translate into our our feelings. So these things it, it, it shapes who we are. Think about who you are right now, who your personality is, who you connect with, who you don't connect with. It, it's all the it, it's the it's the mixture of these four elements, you know, like earth, wind, fire and water. It's, it, it's a mixture of these elements within ourselves that promote the energy that we create. It 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 it. it gives the impression to other people who come in contact with us. It gives us um, our dynamics in terms of our character and, and our, our instincts and, and how we pursue things and how we, you know, deal with different challenges in our lives. These four elements shape who we are. So when we start becoming more sensitive and more aware of that fact, it gives us a broader self-awareness. It gives us the ability to manage our our circumstances a little bit more more efficiently, I want to say. We can we can through that we can we can just look at it and say, hey, you know what? You know, I understand this. I recognize that this is how I'm going to deal with this. But a lot of us we just go through life as though it's happenstance, as though we let life happen to us and instead of us taking charge of our life and being responsible and taking 100% responsibility. So these things shape who we are. And point number three is that it's never too late to change. It's never too late to change. You don't have to accept your present circumstances. You don't have to accept your, your, your present condition. Here's the great thing. The great thing is, is that we as human beings have the ability to be the very best that we can be, but oftentimes we choose not to do that. And the reason is, is that it, it takes work. It takes responsibility. It takes acceptance. Now, I don't want to portray that I always thought this way because I didn't. But I realized through being able to connect with really positive people and really, hey, good morning, Bishop Norris. How you doing? Good to see you. I learned from uh, being able to connect with positive people like Bishop Norris and, and, and really being teachable. Being teachable. I think being teachable is one of the most important things that we can be. But there are a lot of us, including myself, there are times when I'm teachable and there's times that I'm not. But I try to, to not be unteachable as much as I am teachable because we miss so much. We miss so much because we get caught up in what and who we are and we don't accept the ability or the fact that, you know, someone else might have a, a perspective that is a little, that's different than ours, but it could, we can learn from it and we can, it can contribute to who we are and what we're doing. Good morning, chosen. Good to see you. So it's very important that we're teachable that we're really teachable, that we're open to learn more, we're open to improve, we're open to get better and better each and every day. It's tantamount to what we do. So, again, what we think, speak, believe, and feel, that's what we become. That's what we become. That's who we become. That's, that's our makeup. That's our composite. But you got to take responsibility. Be aware. There's nothing better than self-awareness. You know, it takes work. It takes discipline. It takes practice. But you need to be in touch with yourself. You need to understand who you are. 
Because as we say here and as we've talked about in this series, what we think translates into what we speak, which translates into what we believe, which translates into how we feel. And this shapes our environment. This shapes our world. This shapes our, our, our narrative as it is to who and what we are and what we present to others. All right. So it's Friday, guys. That's all I really have for you today. As always, go over to my YouTube channel, Hollis205, and like this video today. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button so when I upload new content, you'll be the first to know. Hit the notification button right here so you know when I come on, particularly with our You Are Worthy series, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern. Like and share this video because somebody needs this message today. As always, guys, listen. You are worthy. You're worthy of the outcomes that you desire. You're worthy to live the life that you choose, and you're worthy to have the things that you want in your life. But it starts with being 100% responsible for self, being self-aware, and being acutely aware of the fact that what we think, speak, believe, and feel shapes who we are and what we present to the world. Okay, on that note, guys, I want you to have a great Friday, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again on Monday.